Up next, the Pacers take it on the Heat for Indiana. They'll face a tough battle against a team equally hungry to improve their record. But this could be the game that sparks them into a higher echelon. Heat Pacers is next right after this. Welcome to Wednesday night's NBA action here on 2K Sports. And along with Grant Hill and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Ali LaForce, our reporter. And checking out some numbers for Buddy Heal. He's been really dialed in from deep during these last five games. Looking assertive and in control every time he rises up to shoot from beyond the three-point line. And it's been fun to watch. And now Indiana's starting group. Halliburton at the one, with Brown at the two, Toppin at the four, and Turner at the five. And it's Matherin in at the three spot. And for Miami, on the wing, it'll be Robinson and Butler. Then it's Bam out of Bio. Then it's Kyle Lowry. And it's Highsmith in at the four. Doris, looks like the matchup in the middle tonight will be one to watch. Two of the best pivots on the planet. PA, big men with big time games. It is easy to know where the action's going to play out. it's going to be the Pacers off the tip. Halliburton against Lowry. Turner, a screen on Lowry. Pass to Turner. Back to Halliburton. From outside the arc. Adebayo grabs the board. Brown against Robinson. Here's Butler. Adebayo in the post. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Benedict Matherin, the sixth overall pick in 2022. The Pacers' highest pick in 34 years. Incredible to think, B.A., that Indiana hadn't selected that high since 1988. And yet somehow, despite playing in a small market and without high draft selections, they were consistently in the playoffs up until the last several years. A real testament to the competitive spirit of the organization. Free throws good out of bio. You have to love the style Bam brings with him to the floor. He's such a spirited player, and you can see his teammates enjoy it as well. He does not get the second one. Well, Grant, the pace that the Heat like to play is a little slower compared to other teams. Yeah, B.A., more methodical, definitely. They don't just jack up shots and run quick plays. They're very patient, and they look for the best scoring option. Here's Highsmith, guarded by Toppin. Down low. And finished off by Adebayo. What a confident dunk by Adebayo. He knows there's little the defense can do once he's elevated. Pass to Turner. Down it goes, and a great assist by Halliburton. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now here's Robinson. Here's Highsmith. Five on the clock. Here's Butler, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Benedict Matherin picks one up. There's a relentless effort from Jimmy Butler every night, and he's going to push through the foul and get his shot opportunity.
The first free throw is good. And Grant, the resiliency and determination of the Heat, not to be underestimated. Well, B.A., last season became just the second eighth seed in NBA history to advance to the finals. And Jimmy Butler said it. We don't care if you pick us to win. We never have. We never will. Now here's Halliburton. A great score, averaging almost 26 a game. And it's Lowry penetrating. Pass to Robinson. Butler taking his time here. Nails it from three. Butler's got five now. Boy, zero hesitation from Butler. He takes the pass and fires immediately. Halliburton against Lowry. To the middle. Here's Turner. No good that time. Oh, great D that time from Adebayo. Lowry with it, and it's Toppin picking him up. The rebound by Turner. The Pacers have gone one for three so far. Matherin passes to Halliburton. Back to Matherin. Pass to Toppin. Outside, Brown. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Good D by Adebayo. Robinson passes to Adebayo. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. This, their first chance to take a look at the Heat this season. And these two teams will face off against one another four times. <laughs> it should be fun. So what you look for in the first game, one, does one team make a statement? And two, how does the other team react to that? Now here's Halliburton. He buries it from three. You have to know how to play pick and roll in today's NBA. Tyrese Halliburton just dissecting the defense with ease right now. Lowry against Halliburton. Robinson, a screen on Halliburton. Here's Lowry. And he banks in the layup. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Halliburton looking over the floor. Matherin, a screen on Lowry. Pass to Brown. Here's the three. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Halliburton's vision and then the ability to thread the needle there makes the defense pay. Now here's Adebayo. Adebayo is screen on Brown. Here's Highsmith. Here's Adebayo. Another shot. And that's two points on the layup. Adebayo's got five now. From role player to all-star, Adebayo has made the leap. Why? Effort plays like that. Pass to Brown. Toppin with it. Jacks up a three. Knocks down the triple. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. And it's Butler with the ball for the Heat. Defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, it was a tough one to watch. There were some bright moments, but ultimately their mistakes caught up with them. To be perfectly frank with you, I'm surprised it was as close as it was. I thought they were outclassed all night. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. Pass to Highsmith. This one for three. Doesn't go. And he's 0 for 1 from the floor. Indiana's gone 3 of 4 on threes here in this first quarter. Halliburton finds Matherin. There's a screen by Turner. Here's an 8-footer. And Matherin finishes inside. Boy, you see the strength, the upper body strength of Benedict Matherin to complete that play. Butler against Matherin. Adebayo a screen on Matherin. Here's Butler. And Turner with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Turner. Top it against Butler. 
Well, you're talking about a combination of length and hops. Toppin does a good job staying connected defensively. Here's Halliburton. Pass to Turner. Over out of bio. Turner, no good. What a masterful job on the defensive end. Did everything possible to alter that shot. And here's Lowry. Outside Butler. Takes a three. Drills it from deep. Butler's got eight points. Well, there are certain places on the floor that Jimmy Butler will let it fly from three. Right there, he has a nice-looking jumper. Turner passes to Halliburton. Up and over Lowry. Halliburton misses. And it didn't fall, but still a great look. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Knocks down the long J. 11 points in the game. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Halliburton against Lowry. Right side Matherin. Here's Turner. Back to Matherin. Four on the clock. Halliburton finds Brown. And it's going to be a three-second call. And a quick look at the 2K leaderboard. Here are the teams picking up the most steals this season. Fifth, the Heat. This team will punish you for sloppy ball control, no question. They've got a lot of fast-handed guys just waiting to take advantage. The Heat have gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. Pass to Highsmith. To the paint. Matherin with a steal. Now the Pacers on the move. And there's Toppin on the assist from Brown. Toppin's got his second basket of the game. A sharp steal and some quick offense cuts it down to a one-possession game. Well done. Butler, Toppin with a steal. Matherin against Butler. It's Matherin with a drive. Pass to Turner. Toppin outside. Now Brown. There's a screen by Turner. Let's it go from the wing. Again, the Pacers. Good for two more. Well, you're talking about a player who can be effective as a roll man or the guy handling the ball in the pick and roll action. OB Toppin can be a tough matchup, folks. Richardson's checked in for Butler. And the Pacers also making a change. Heald's checked in. Here's Brown. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Up top, Turner. Pass to Heald. Back to Turner. Matherin with a ball. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. To the inside. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Pacers. You know, talking to people around the league for us, there's an it factor with Benedict Matherin. You know, B.A., he is definitely willing to try to put an offense on his back. He has proven not to be afraid in the closing moments of the game. This guy wants the ball anywhere, anytime. And sometimes that in itself will carve a spot for you in this league. Here's Nimhart. In his last outing, eight points for him. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Turner. Indiana needs to get a shot off. And Heal puts up a deep three. The Pacers again can't hit. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Young season, young talent, Grant. What do you look for to identify an up-and-coming team with a chance to be special? Well, B.A., obviously you have to start with talent. But then it's fit, it's identity, it's personality. I mean, all of those ingredients matter in becoming a top team. Now here's Richardson. Still without a bucket. The shot. And Toppin pulls it down. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Nimhart, the pass to Turner. Now here's Heal. Over to the wing, and here's Toppin from the arc. 
It's hauled in by the Heat. Outside Richardson. Akez, the pass to Martin. Inside. Adebayo in the post. Richardson for three. Good! And the assist goes to Adebayo. And the Heat lead by four. Here's Nimhart, guarded by Richardson. Outside heel. Fires the three. Gets the three to fall. The specialty of Buddy Heel is a three-point shot. You give him an opportunity to respond, and he's going to say, yes, sir. Now here's Richardson, guarded closely. Adebayo sets a screen. Richardson's got space. And there are the Heat with another bucket. Well, that's all about reading the defense, right, guys? Josh Richardson creating an opportunity off pick-and-roll action. Pass to Turner. Adebayo with a steal. And here's Richardson. 20 points for him last game against Milwaukee. And let's not forget about the assist. This guy as a playmaker was a driving force for that offense. Now here's Adebayo. It's a three-point game. And Miami again with the bucket. Give Adebayo all the credit. The D was there, but he was just determined to score. There's a screen by Turner. With some arc. And the ball out of play. The Heat will have it. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. You take a look at Miami. Here to start, they're on solid ground, standing sixth in the conference. And, of course, the Pacers, two spots below. I think for the Heat, you have to acknowledge that they've really hung tough this season, avoiding a lot of the bumps in the road that other contenders have gone through. A resiliency has been crucial for this team. Anytime it looks like they may start to drag a little bit, they've picked it back up and stayed in the hunt. Butler passes to Bryant. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Boy, as you watch him now, it's amazing that Thomas Bryant ever fell to the second round in the draft. He's big. He's skilled. He knows the game. And the first one at the line is good. Doors taking a glance at the Indiana Pacers. What do you like about them moving forward? I would say the fact, B.A., that they have quietly built a nice young core. Now, that, of course, is going to take time and patience, but I do believe unequivocally they're on the right path. And both free throws good for Bryant. <laughs> and I love how they've been the aggressors on the offensive end. So unafraid of contact, looking to score points in the lane and at the free throw line. Here's Nimhart. No made baskets yet. Snaps the way. Butler with the ball. And it's Heald picking him up. Here's Richardson. Good. And Butler gets the assist. And the Heat lead by nine. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Smith outside. Pass to Halliburton. Shot to stop the run. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's on Jimmy Butler. That's just a savvy move to draw the foul. And despite that young age, Halliburton like a seasoned veteran right there. Throw good. Halliburton. I think if you're talking Tyrese Halliburton, the thing that stands out is the wealth of things he can do on the offensive end. He can shoot the ball with range. He's got unbelievable handle. He can create. He can drive it. He can also set up his guys. A lot to like. And both free throws good for Halliburton. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Halliburton against Butler. Oh, 
One second left. And Bryant with the layup. Boy, perfect execution of the pick and roll. Butler always a guy who's going to draw attention, and he makes the unselfish play. Jimmy Butler getting it done for Miami. He's found his range, hitting three triples in the quarter. We'll be back in a moment. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Heat. Well, the effort they've shown on defense has been infectious. Everyone on this team continuing to jump at opportunities to come away with steals. Another big component of their early game tonight has been points off turnovers. Great job converting on those chances. Miami's gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. Josh Richardson out there with Butler. Then there's Caleb Martin. Then it's Thomas Bryant. And it's Jaquez in at the three. So that's who Miami starts the second with. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Here's Nimhart. He's scoreless. Outside heel. All sorts of time, and it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Buddy Heald has made his money as a jump shooter. That's what you call a dead-eye sharpshooter, folks. Here's Butler, buried from 15 feet out. Butler's got 13. The defense making it way too easy for him on that jump shot. He'll take that all night. Halliburton, the pass to Demart. Here's Heald. Here's Nimhart. Picked by Smith. Five to shoot. Outside for Halliburton. Over Butler. Halliburton misses. The Heat with the lead. Now here's Butler. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Halliburton misses. And it's Butler with the ball for the Miami Heat. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. To the inside. Here's Bryant. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Butler's got four assists in the game. That's a really solid pass from Jimmy Butler. This guy all about making his teammates better. Now here's Halliburton. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against Portland. Down low. Here's Smith. And down it goes. Dunked it through off a beautiful setup. Well, you need your big to set good screen and be able to get out of it and get a basket. Nicely done. Outside for Butler, launches a three, and the Heat, another three! Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Smith with a screen on Butler. Smith outside, lets it go from deep. It's rebounded by Jimmy Butler. And it's amazing, their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. Outside Richardson. Butler against Halliburton. Back to Richardson. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Richardson's got nine. You've got to stay aware of what the shot clock situation is. Josh Richardson exactly on time. Healed from outside. He drops it from range. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. And for Buddy Heald, he became the second fastest player in NBA history to hit 1,500 three-pointers doors. And consider, B.A., only Stephen Curry did it faster. Heald 
is one of the top three-point shooters in the league. He's got both the volume and the efficiency to prove it. Here's Halliburton following the bucket by the Heat. And it's healed that time on the assist from Halliburton. Three points. He's got 11. Uh, two trays now in the second quarter after he hit one in the first. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, Bam Adebayo is a defensive force. Coach Eric Spolster said, quote, he makes us different. Our team is built around his toughness and his versatility. You can count on one hand in this association how many guys can literally guard one through five. And he's at the very top of that list. That's unique unto itself, Brian. Yeah, very special, Allie. Thanks for that. And so here is Miami following the bucket by the Pacers. Butler against Halliburton. The kick out to Richardson. Here's the screen by Bryant. Fires for three. Martin right side for three. That one's good. And the assist to Bryant. Martin's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Halliburton, the pass to Demart. Back to Halliburton. Smith with a screen on Butler to the paint. Oh, okay then. And he jams it home with authority. My goodness, how fast off his feet is Jalen Smith. That is spectacular. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's Hawkes. 14 points for him last game against Milwaukee. Pass to Bryant. On the wing, Richardson. Second chance shot. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And some changes here for the Pacers. Toppin, he's checked in for Neesmith. Benedict Matherin comes in for Heald. And it's Brown in for Nimhart. And that one misses. And Grant is someone whose career spanned eras. You feel playing defense is more difficult than it was two decades ago? Oh, B.A., it's much more difficult. In part, because the contact allowed is much more strict. Shooters can create contact and be rewarded with free throws. And the skill level on offense has truly raised. It makes it tough for the defender to really get down and play that tough nose defense. Well, I'll tell you, he does not let the potential contact impede his progress. Toppin is aggressive. And he knocks down the first one. It's always fun to watch a young player like Obi Toppin adapt to the league. He has done a really good job rising to the challenge of NBA-level play. Neesmith, he's checked in for Indiana. Toppin hits them both. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Pass to Butler. Robinson against Halliburton. Here's Highsmith. Double team on Butler. And then Bryant with the dunk. Boy, the ability of Thomas Bryant to play over the top of the defense. So impressive. Gets long and finishes with authority. Now here's Matherin. 11 points for him last game against Portland. Here's Toppin. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. My goodness, Toppin puts on a show. What a special dunker this guy is. Pass to Highsmith. Lowry against Halliburton. Double team on Butler. Here's Lowry. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Butler's got six assists here tonight. When Kyle Lowry touches that painted area, he is aggressive to score it, and he is so able to finish on the interior. Now here's Matherin. 
Making a mark on the offensive end. Scoring around 13 a game. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. So both teams making some changes here. At the line for the Pacers. Method. One. Talk about a team that's known for being unselfish, the Indiana Pacers. Yeah, you know, B.A., it's part of their core philosophy. Keep the ball moving, keep everyone involved and engaged. Here's Hawkes. No points yet. And Kyle Lowry hits from deep. And the Heat lead by 11. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Turner finds heel. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got seven rebounds in the game. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Brown with the steal. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It goes on Bam Adebayo. Yeah, lots of skill to contend with if you're guarding Benedict Matherin. It's not an easy cover. And the Heat making a change here. Richardson's checked in. No good on the free throw. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. Here's Highsmith. Misses the layup. And so Brown will bring it up for Indiana. Nine-point game. They're coming off that loss against Portland. They had a tough time beyond the arms. A lot of their possessions ended in missed threes. What was most disturbing to me was they didn't have a backup plan, right? The threes aren't falling. What do you do next? Here's Lowry. After the basket by Indiana. And he lobs it up top. And finished off by Adebayo. Oh, it's almost scary watching Adebayo throw it down. Incredible natural power. Brown looking around. Outside heel. Brown against Lowry. Just five to shoot. Brown passes to Heald. Up and over Richardson. And it's Heald missing. Miami has gotten 21 points so far from three-point land. They're 7 of 10. Pass to Adebayo. Out to Lowry. Launches it. Ooh, went in there strong and tried to power it down. But he drew the contact and he'll head to the line. It can't fall for Autobio's pump fake, or else he'll go right into the contact. First free throw is good. so he's able to get one of two. You gotta be able to capitalize at the free throw line. They're really struggling with that this quarter. Pass to Brown. Now Matherin. He's guarded by Lowry. And Kyle Lowry is gonna pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Jimmy Butler's checked in for Miami. Halliburton's checked in for Indiana. Substitution on the court. Miami on D, outside Matherin. And here's Brown for three, on target from range. 
Brown's got his third bucket of the night. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now here's Lowry. Coming in off 21 points in his last outing. Outside Butler. Just five on the clock. The Heat need to get one up in a hurry. Sinks the tray. Highsmith's got himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Indiana has gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Halliburton outside. Pass to Matherin. And here's Toppin. All alone. Jimmy Butler with a rebound. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Now out of bio. Fires the three. Doesn't go for him. Matherin with a ball. Now guarded by Butler. Robinson against Halliburton. Matherin passes to Toppin. Kick out to Brown. Toppin, a screen on Lowry. Pass to Turner. The three ball. Rebound by the Heat. And we've got 118 left to play in the first half of basketball. Lowry, no good. Indiana has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Halliburton with the ball. Matherin passes to Turner. Back to Matherin. Let's the three fly. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. Matherin showing his willingness to be ready on the catch. Go ahead. To the middle. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Adebayo's got five points now this quarter. Indiana trailing here. Pass to Toppin. Outside Matherin. Toppin, a screen on Butler. Back to Toppin. The jump hook. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Miami has gone 50% from the perimeter in the second. Shooting four of eight. Offensive rebound. And finished off by Adebayo. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. No doubt on the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. Halliburton with the ball. Toppin, a screen on Lowry. Halliburton for three. Not going to go that time. And so it's the Miami Heat. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. The story tonight, everything, and I mean everything, is working well for the Miami Heat. Reminds me of my days. These guys show up on the offensive glass, and they're feasting off second-chance points. Winning the battle of possessions, crucial to any team's success. All right, now let's check out what the fans are saying on social media. And Shaq, been all day balling, Wants to know if you were ever intimidated going up against someone bigger than you in your career, like, I don't know, Yao Ming. I love Yao, but stop it. Let's be real. Everyone I played against was scared to go up against the Diesel. Shaq, you're all talk now in your old age. I remember you being terrified when they left me open. You were like, no, don't leave Smith again. Just never ends with you two, does it? And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. It has been one outstanding game from Jimmy Butler. 
just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Second half underway. Here's who Rick Carlisle's got on the floor. On the wing, it's Brown and Matherin. Toppin at the four, and Turner at the five. And it's Halliburton in at point guard. Adebayo. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Butler's got assist number eight here already in the game. And so it's Halliburton with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. Trailing by 13. Pass to Matherin. Now Toppin. Outside, Brown. The three is up. Count it from distance. Brown's got 11 points. That's just good awareness from top and willing to get it to the open guy immediately. Love the unselfishness. Here's Butler. Butler! Unfazed by the defense. And he's looking to get on a roll here to start the second half. And I've got to believe that was something they talked about during the break. Get him some good looks into the paint. Get into the heart of the defense. Beautiful. Matherin finds Toppin. Now here's Turner. And the baseline jumper goes down. Turner's got his second basket of the night. Well, this is the versatility that Miles Turner brings to the table. A big man who can knock down shots from the mid-range. Double team on Butler. Back to Lowry. Outside Robinson. Takes the three. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got four rebounds now. Halliburton against Butler. Pass to Turner. And there's the call. It's on Bam Adebayo. That'll be a second foul of the game. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. And so it's Indiana with it. It's a 10-point game. I love how focused Bam is on the defensive end, using all of his size to create high-pressure coverage. Brown inside. Butler covering. Brown passes to Toppin. Halliburton with the ball. Beyond the arc. The rebound by Lowry. Oh, man. He can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it. And it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. The explosiveness off the screen. I mean, Bam so good at knowing where to roll to after setting picks. Halliburton, the pass to Matherin. Toppin with it. Back to Matherin. Down to five on the shot clock. Inside. Here's Turner. And then Turner with the dunk. Well, this is where Miles Turner excels. Set the screen, roll to the basket, make sure your hands are up and ready to receive. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. The Heat always focus on the big prize. Coach Bolster said, quote, winning a championship can be done in a lot of different ways. The game is played on both sides of the floor with IQ and with toughness, making plays in those winning moments. It's not necessarily what everybody thinks it is. Brian? Well, he would know, Allie. Thank you. Now, here's Brown. He's got 11. Uh, the chemistry Toppin has with his teammates. Just get up over the rim and finish it with authority, Obi. Pass to Adebayo. Lowry outside. The three. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got five rebounds in the game. Halliburton against Lowry. Now here's Halliburton. Not a lot of room. Outside, Brown. Into the lane. And here's Turner from the arc. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got five assists in the game. Miami has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. 
pass to Adebayo. Now Butler from deep. It's rebounded by Indiana. Toppin's got six rebounds now in the game. Butler against Brown. Toppin with it. Halliburton finds Turner. Outside, Brown. There's the triple. With the second effort. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And I'll tell you, a tough first half puts it in the rear view. The shooting percentage starting to reflect that. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Miami. Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. Something else that they've had working for them is attacking the offensive glass. Boy, taking advantage and creating second chance points. Impressive. Now here's Lowry. He has seven. Outside Butler. Butler double team. Pass to Robinson. And Lowry with the basket on the assist from Robinson. Lowry's got nine. How about the presence in the post by Kyle Lowry in the face of some pretty good defense? That was a tough conversion. The baseline J. No good off the back of the rim. Good job hitting the glass. They're plus eight in rebounding. Takes one from 10 feet. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Halliburton against Lowry. Pass to Brown. Now Turner. Halliburton outside. The three. Oh, yes, sir. Halliburton from deep. A remarkable three-point shooter out of the gates in his NBA career. Tyrese Halliburton, let him hear you. Lowry, the pass to Butler. Butler double team. Here's Adebayo. Here's Highsmith. Misses the three. And here's Matherin. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Trailing by four. Outside, Brown. Pass to Toppin. Back to Brown. There's a screen by Turner. Halliburton for three. And again, it's Indiana with a three. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Now here's Lowry. He's got nine. Shoots over Halliburton. Good. That's his fifth bucket in nine attempts. Oh, my goodness. Almost no space to get that jumper off. But Lowry, he doesn't need a ton of space. Pass to Matherin. Turner, a screen on Butler. Floats one up, and Matherin lays it in. Matherin's got 12 points in the game. Boy, Matherin needs to become more efficient, but that floater right there is on point. Out of bounds, it'll be Indiana's ball. And now let's see some real stats, real scores from the real NBA and find out which players were the top distributors these past 10 games. Tyrese Halliburton on top. He's making a lot of friends with the way he's been moving the ball, setting up his teammates nicely in their favorite spots. Richardson's checked in for Miami. Heald's checked in for Indiana. There's a screen by Toppin. Over to the left wing. Heald on the wing. Guarded by Richardson. Here's Turner. Buckets. He's now 6 of 10 from the field. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. Pass to Richardson. To the inside. Here's Adebayo. Counted and one. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And they'll give that one to Miles Turner. Martin, he's checked in for Highsmith. The Pacers also with a sub. Neesmith, he's checked in for Toppin. First team foul. Now at the line, Bam Adebayo. One.
Free throws good. Out of bio. Indiana on offense. They're on an 18 to 7 run. Pass to Turner. On the wing, Matherin. Outside, Brown. Outside, heel. Three pointer. Unable to get that one. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. Robinson against Matherin. Outside Robinson. Pass to Martin. Now Richardson. Back to Martin. 4-3. Pacers with a rebound. Turner's got rebound number eight now. Brown with it. Robinson defending. Brown passes to Turner. Oh, the bucket's good, and he'll have a chance at one more. It goes on Bam out of bio. You've got to have a short memory. Put a poor first half in your rear view and now make an impact. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And the free throw, no good. Well, Miles Turner understands how to use his size and length. Doesn't matter if he's blocking shots or going for his high release point jump shot. Here's Jaquez. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Out of bio, a screen on Smith. Outside for Love. From behind the arc. Hits the trifecta. And the Heat lead by three. Well, you know Kevin Love is ready in catch and shoot situations. Beautifully done. You know, the one thing about Kevin Love, he truly loves this game. No pun intended, though. <laughs> well, P.A., you know he loves the game because he's willing to change as his career has gotten deeper and deeper. This was a dominant score rebounder during his days in Minnesota when he first got drafted. He's changed teams a couple of times, but the fact of the matter is he's so skilled, he can adapt to any situation. Now here's Martin. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Pass to Love from downtown. And the Heat, another three. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. To the paint. Here's Heald. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Heald's got 15 points. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. Richardson finds out a bio. And Turner with the block. How about Turner's ability to anticipate when the shooter's going to release? Couldn't be better at timing his rejections. Knocks that one down. Four triples for the night. Three in the first half. Now here's Richardson. He's got nine. Outside love. Pass to Adebayo. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Here's Nimhart. Yet to see a basket. Turner passes to Heald. And here's Smith. Now here's Heald for the lead. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Boy, picking up where he left off. His second from distance this half, five overall. Pass to Jaquez. Outside low. Here's Martin. They need this. Smith with the rebound. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. It's going to be on Kevin Love. And the Heat with some changes. Bryant comes in for Adebayo. And Butler is subbed in for Love. And the Pacers also making a change. Tyrese Halliburton's checked in for Turner. Miami trailing. Outside Richardson. Pass to Butler. There's the three. And it's 
Butler knocking down the three. Yeah, in the first half, he was unstoppable from deep. Now, two more since the break. Butler against Halliburton. Smith with a screen on Butler. Three-pointer, Halliburton. For three, Smith. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. Buddy Heald has been leading the charge for Indiana. He's been effective on offense. Racking up 21 points so far in this contest. We'll be right back. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist to the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Jimmy Butler out there with Josh Richardson. Then it's Thomas Bryant. Then there's Caleb Martin. And it's Jaquez in at the small forward position. That's the group in the game for the Heat. And Miami has possession. Following the bucket by the Pacers. Butler against Halliburton. Richardson for three. Good. And Butler gets the assist. Butler's got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Pass to Smith. And here's Halliburton. Three-pointer. Sends it home from three-point land. Halliburton's got nine points now in the second half. Butler up top. Defended by Halliburton. Here's Jaquez. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Butler against Halliburton. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. For three, Smith sinks it from distance. And now it's a seven-point pacer lead. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Here's Butler. Butler unpaid. Jimmy Butler attacking at will, and the buckets just keep coming. Here's Nimhart, guarded by Richardson. Let's go with a three, and he gets it to go again. He's connected on 10 of 15 now. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. Richardson, that's good. Well, think about it. Back in his rookie year, this is a guy who shot 46% from deep. Go ahead, Josh Richardson from three. Now here's Smith. Pass to heel. Here's Nimhart. The three is up. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Butler passes to Martin. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. That's tipped. Clock at six. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. And the Heat making a change here. Smith checked in. The Pacers also with a sub. Toppins checked in. Four on the clock. Fires away from way outside. Pacers with a rebound. If you're looking for ways to help your team, that's last on the list. And funny thing is, if that doesn't get you benched, I have no idea what would. Now here's Halliburton. Pass to Smith. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. This is exactly what you hope to see from Jalen Smith. Use that length and physicality in the lane. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Pacers. Well, they have owned the offensive perimeter throughout this game, finding lots of openings and turning them into big shots. 
I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. And the second free throw is good. Well, so far, Jalen Smith has proven to be a quality role player. This guy works his tail off both ends. Butler against Halliburton. Butler passes to Highsmith. Now Richardson puts up a three. Pacers with a rebound. Smith's got his fourth rebound in this one. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Pass to heel. And Richardson comes to help. Back to Halliburton. Down low. Here's Neesmith. Boom! He jams it straight down. Well, this guy has made giant strides in his playmaking. Nice setup by Buddy Heald right there. Hawkes, the pass to Butler. Double team on Butler. Up top, Bryant. Fires from deep. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got five rebounds in the game. Halliburton outside. Smith outside. Can he keep it going? Hawkes grabs the board. The Heat have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Pass to Richardson. Here's the screen by Bryant. Richardson, the pass to Bryant. Outside Butler to snap the cold streak. That one's good. And the assist to Bryant. Butler's got five points in the quarter. Rising to the challenge. He's given them everything he's got. Richardson against Heald. From the arc. Out to the right wing. Here's Neesmith. Up top, Smith. Pass to Halliburton. Over Butler. Some solid defense from Butler. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. Richardson with it. Back to Butler. Takes the contact and delivers. Jimmy Butler. And so it's Halliburton with it. He brings it up for the Pacers. Smith outside. Pass to heel. Out of bounds. It'll be Miami's ball. Some changes for Indiana. Turner, he's checked in for Smith. And Matherin subbed in for Neesmith. Here's Butler. Adebayo, a screen on Matherin to the paint. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And they'll give that one to Miles Turner. Just an enforcer for this team. Adebayo is no stranger to physical play, whether he's receiving it or dishing it out. Free throws good, out of bio. And the Pacers making a change here. Brown's checked in. And both free throws good for out of bio. Indiana leading. Pass to Turner. Now here's Halliburton. He's guarded by Lowry. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. The Pacers have gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. Halliburton outside. Three-pointer Matherin. That's basket number six and eight tries. How about this offensive onslaught from Benedict? Matherin doesn't look like they can slow him down. Lowry against Halliburton. Lowry, the pass to Butler. 
Now here's Robinson. Launches a three. Good. And Butler gets the assist. Butler's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. For Indiana, they've gone 7 for 11 so far in the fourth. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. And as we head down the stretch, these players are focused on absorbing their coach's game plan and also drinking some Gatorade so their bodies will be well hydrated for the minutes ahead. Martin, he's checked in for Miami. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Rick Carlisle's huddle. Coach cautioned his team against feeling comfortable. He said the moment we take our foot off the gas, they're back in it. Let's push through the finish line. Brian? As always, Allie, we thank you. and right side it's good and he drew contact on the shot so he will go to the line a three point play opportunity at the line for the Pacers OB Toppin one And it's the Heat with the ball. Seven-point differential. Pass to Adebayo. The Pacers pull it in. They've led by as many as 11. Oh, Halliburton! Send it home! Well, we're talking about a guard who's got some bounce. Tyrese Halliburton with the hops. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. Butler against Halliburton. Puts the move on. And Adebayo, the bucket, on the assist from Butler. Adebayo's got 11 in the second half. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. Halliburton for three. And it's Miami with a rebound. Butler's got rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Lowry. Halliburton with a steal. Outside Matherin. Lowry against Brown. Halliburton outside. Let's go with a three. Another miss by Halliburton. Miami has gone four of eight from three-point land during the fourth. And Obi Toppin gets the whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. Second team ball. Pass to Butler. Now Robinson. Here's the three. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. And now just a four-point pacer lead. Well, just terrific on selfishness from the veteran forward. Jimmy Butler more than willing to pass if he finds a teammate open. Mather finds Halliburton. And he sinks the 11-footer. And the Pacers lead by six. <laughs> you can feel the temperature rising in this arena. Both teams pouring it on offensively. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. Martin. And the Heat, another three. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Halliburton against Lowry. Pass to Brown. Toppin with it. Halliburton outside. Shot clock at five. The three. Matherin. Adebayo grabs the board. you got to love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. And it's Butler with the jam. <laughs> you can see it from the moment he caught the basketball. Jimmy Butler delivers again. Now here's Halliburton. Pass to Matherin. Turner, a screen on Butler. Matherin passes to Turner. And then 
Turner with the dunk. Miles Turner comes up big in such a big time moment. All right, Miles, we see you. And here's Robinson. And here's Adebayo. Turner covers. Adebayo, no good. They're just trying to hold on to this lead, Grant. And right now, you just can't afford to be careless. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Now here's Butler. Double team on Butler. Pass to Martin. No one near him. Good, and Butler gets the assist. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Oh, man, take a look at that one. Just a textbook alley -oop. Beautifully done. He served it up on a platter. Now here's Butler to the middle. And a bio. No good. There's a minute 12 left in the game. Matherin finds Halliburton. And it's Miami with a rebound. He's got a great defensive mind. He gets good position and affects the release. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art. Changing shots without making contact. Big time bucket by Jimmy Butler. Boy, I'm not sure they've got an answer for him right now, Kim. And they go to the intentional foul. Halliburton outside. Outside Matherin. And out of bio over to help. And now we've got an intentional foul. First free throw is good. And that puts him up five. One thing you know about Benedict Matherin, this guy oozes confidence, and he is an impact scorer. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a six-point ball game. Well, just knocking them down from the charity stripe, extending the lead. Simple basketball. Miami calls timeout. They're losing by six. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what do you think? that they're going to have to work fast coming out of the timeout. This is the very definition of desperation mode right now. They need a quick shot and a quick foul. Make some noise once again for your Miami Heat dancer. To Robinson the three is up and again another assist that makes 15 assists he has been one step ahead of the defense all game long and so they choose to intentionally foul the first one drops and that gives him a four-point cushion now Tyrese Halliburton has played with a poise beyond his years he's got another chance here to continue to build on that second one is good getting both at the line and it's a five-point game he's able to make it a two possession game with some solid work at the line right there time called here the heat decide to talk it over they're down by five 27 seconds left in the game Here's Butler. It's Martin on the wing. He connects! And he's brought them within two points now. 
And talk about stepping up in a big way. And I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so both free throws good, and it's a four-point ball game. 16 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. And Lowry launches it from deep. And Toppin pulls it down. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. He gets the first, and that puts him up five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Well, you love a guy who gets himself to the line, takes his time, and makes the free throws. Complete professional. He's been tremendous at corralling misses all night long. A lot of it comes down to great fundamentals. Establishing position early, controlling the backboards. And so it's Indiana winning this one. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them. They had to dig deep to come out on top. Yeah, you know, some teams might buckle under the pressure towards the end. The crowd was so amped up, such a hostile environment. But they stood tall and got the win. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Miles Turner.